far down. So right here, this is the theater, the auditorium. And you notice you have this huge scaffolding in. This is called a dance floor. And so what it is, is they have this so that they can work on all of the stuff up in the top. And you notice you have workers in here that are putting in a lot of the finish work, um, or putting in the work before they can put the finish work in. So these are the opera boxes. Um, you can see they're putting some of the, the metal framing in so that they can put the wood overlays on it. On what the auditorium looks like. It's the main level of the auditorium. You have the second level. We're standing in one of the opera boxes on the main level right now. You know, Auburn is known, obviously, for, yes, a great engineering school, a great agricultural school, um, but to be able to have a venue like this um, that will bring in artists to um, support uh, all um, academics at the university, I think, is, is very important. They're starting to work on the loop road a little bit. So you know, you notice that they're working on South College Street and putting the median in. So if you notice this loop road right here connects to the museum. So that connection will take you from Wood, Woodfield and you can turn and see that this is physically connecting the two spaces by our, um, by our loop roads and entrances and exits to the museum and the Performing Arts Center. So the facilities obviously are across the street from each other. They mirror each other in design as well, but it's really about what happens inside the buildings. So you have, again, the museum that's been here for 15 years, um, presenting you know, great exhibitions and programmings that support it. And then on this side of the house, having world-class artists from around the world coming to Auburn and performing, giving back into our our community, our schools, and the university as well. Um, it just affords us an opportunity to really work together and collaborate um, on performing arts and visual arts, um, again, through a shared vision of, of um, elevating the arts here at Auburn University. To, to think that we're gonna be able to see things in Auburn, Alabama that we normally have to drive to Atlanta to go see is, it's just really awesome. And uh, to think that all of our citizens could, could drive over to the Performing Arts Center right here at home and, and have a 10 minute drive home afterwards, not a two hour drive down the interstate, it's very exciting. And so um, I think from whether it's music, dance, plays, musicals, um, the potential for you know speakers and all those kind of things. And, and with the outdoor space, there's potential for receptions and parties and, and outdoor concerts and the prettier times of the year. And um, it's just gonna be a great place of uh, excitement and opportunity for all of our citizens, but also a great gathering place where we'll have some of our great celebrations for our community and our families. This space right here, You'll see very long lobby space. But we're in the center right here, which is an interesting place. So this is also, I was telling you about how this was, how the, the uh, stairwell in the south lobby is designed for an event space as well. This is too. So these two columns here will have TV screens on them. And you can set tables, here, or excuse me, set chairs here so that you can have lectures um, here as well. So someone could run PowerPoints or presentations from here and stand here, or you could have a little small ensemble um, and have uh, you know, about 70, 80, 100 people here uh, to experience it as well. So again, a lot of thought into designing almost every inch of this space to be used for different types of um, presentations, performances, 
um, receptions that um, our community or campus may need. This is where the box office will be. It's set up more like you would see at a hotel, where you go up and you check in. It's more of that kind of style, as opposed to being behind a glass door. And then their office is back here. And there'll be a digital screen promoting different performances and what shows are coming up. So you'll notice, you can imagine, these are all glass curtain walls. Skylight. When you, the lobby on the second floor where the, where you see it connecting to the theater, that open space will be skylights as well. So there's a tremendous amount of natural light in this building. Especially on a day like this, you can see how beautiful it's going to be during the day. Very open, light, and bright. This is the, this is the south lobby where it's designed, obviously, nice open space, but also we can have events in here. So if you look at the Bradley family staircase here, the landing point, that can actually act as a stage. So you can have, you can set chairs in this area and use this as a lecture point or a small recital. You can set it up auditorium style, you can set it up with tables and chairs for a reception, a dining reception. And it's just a great thing. You know, we're afforded a great opportunity to build a brand new building right now. Um, so there will be a lot of state of the art um, kind of uh, sound and light and uh, acoustical properties that this building will have that some of our peers uh, possibly won't have just because of the newness of the building. But from a, um, but from a uh, kind of compare and contrast situation, um, I would say that um, we will have uh, one, of the, one of the top facilities in the SEC. Um, one of the things that will, or a couple of things that will, uh, will kind of set us apart is to be able to have this outdoor amphitheater space that, that not a lot of schools have, um, that we'll be able to do a lot of different functions in. Um, and then again, the flexibility of our space to be able to turn it into a concert hall for world-class classical and orchestral music and then flip it and be able to do theatricals is something that a lot of uh, institutions um, don't have the ability to do.